was the only creature capable of figuring out the complicated labyrinth of secret catacombs. Hey, Virgil, did you hear about the monster they found in the sewers? Sure did. The city refuses to send any more men down there. They say this one's especially nasty. You know what I think we should do? Go down into the sewer and find the monster? You skip breakfast again? No. We should take the long way home, so we avoid the street altogether. Listen to me. The description of it, the features, the attitude. I think it's my missing monster. We need to find him before he takes off. Or before the usual gang of concerned citizens go on a monster hunt. The Ravenville sewer system is like an underground maze, pitch black for a hundred miles. We'll need help making our way through it. Any ideas? Mr. Plunkett, have you been listening to me? Does the word Minotaur mean anything to you? A Minotaur? Of course! That's perfect! Great idea, Mrs. Polka. Uh. Minotaurs are very rare. I happen to have one in the shop, but it's very valuable. I could never afford to buy one, Igor. I was just hoping I could rent it for the night. You see... I've only got 37 cents. Sold! <laughs> huh? Are you all right in there, Igor? Fine. What? No fighting! He's just a little shy. Listen, Brady, I know a hamster that's pretty good with those little plastic tunnels. Give me a break. He's grabbed hold of something. Let's give Igor a hand, Pooja. Oh, all right. No, quick! I'm grabbing! All together now. One, two, three! Thanks! No! Not the piranha tank! Seriously, he's not usually like this. Must be a little nervous around company. Why do I get the feeling he'd probably pay you to take it? Looks like my monster's leading the police a merry chase. Of course, they don't have our secret weapon. Weird how calm he became when we got him outside. Downright mystifying. Careful. That open manhole should be around here someplace. Yeah. Oh. Good work, Virgil! My pleasure! Lead the way, my furry friend. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, big guy? You're afraid of the dark, aren't you? <laughs> hey, Virgil! I know why he was afraid back at the monster shop and why he won't climb down into the sewer. Because he's afraid of the dark. Huh? How did you know? Because I can relate. It's not only dark down there, Brady. It's claustrophobic. <laughs> oh, no. Claustrophobic, too? See anything? No. It's as if he vanished into thin air. I've got to find him, Virgil. I think I found him. <laughs> the monitor is my only hope if I'm going to find my monster. A minotaur who's claustrophobic and afraid of the dark? He's damaged goods. <laughs> no offense. 
You're right, Virgil. I am? You mean we're gonna give up this ridiculous search for your monster? No, we're gonna exchange this minor tour for one that works. Board it up. Where did Igor go? There's a note. Monster shop closed till further notice. Proprietor taking well-deserved huh? vacation in, in, in a place far away from here. Signed, Igor. P.S. No, I don't have any other minor tours. What now? Ah, I've got a plan. Oh, great, a plan. What if I had a plan? Like, I plan to go home. Wait here. There's some stuff I gotta get from my room. Uh-oh! Hey, Brady! Wait! Hey! <laughs> Listen, I'm thinking calling you damaged goods before was a little harsh. I'm sure you're a credit to your species, a fine, upstanding example of your hurt. And 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 by the way, I really like what you've done with your hoofs. This should do it. Come on, Virgil. We haven't got all day. Tell me again why I'm the one who's going to crawl around inside the dark sewer? Your other choice was working up here with the Minotaur. <laughs> so what do I do if I find your monster? Give him this. He used to love gnawing on it. Better it than me. Virgil entered here. So where do you suppose my monster might be hiding? <clears throat> you sure? <clears throat> Virgil! Virgil, can you hear me? Turn on your camcorder! Brady, is that you? I'm lost, hungry, and dying of thirst. How long have I been down here? About ten seconds. Already? In a moment, you'll arrive at a spot where the tunnel splits in two. Go left! Chewed shoes and torn clothes? Not a good thing. Virgil, I'm getting some kind of disturbance. A clattering sound. That's my teeth. <laughs> Relax, Virgil. Remember, don't sweat the petty things. I thought it was don't pet the sweaty things. <laughs> That's good advice, too. Just keep following that trail, okay, Virgil? Might as well get comfy. This might take a while. I've been here before. Better tell Brady I'm lost. I see something. Something very unfriendly. Wish I had a match or a flashlight or a back door out of here. Brady, did your monster have glowing red eyes and huge saber tooth fangs? I'm listening, good buddy. Over. It's coming at me. He's he's not happy, Brady. He's not happy at all. I can't see anything, Virgil. You'll have to describe it to me. Is it bigger than a bread box? Bread box? It's bigger than a fridge. I know what you're thinking. What's a place like me doing in a kid like this? I agree. In fact, I was just leaving. Looky what I have here. It's your favorite Bolly toy. You see? I'm a friend, someone to play with, not someone to chow down on. Fetch! He's playing with his squeaky ball! That sound is coming from me, Brady! Don't tease me, Virgil. Is it really him? It's biting my leg! It's him! It is my monster! You've got to lead me to him! Everybody <laughs> Nothing. Oh. 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 
finish my monster! Ah! Is that him? Is that the monster? No, Ravenville just flushed its toilet! as much as I want to be with him. Well, 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 I'm impressed. Looks like my good sense is starting to rub off on you. <laughs> <laughs> that smarts. <laughs> you know, Brady, he sure has a great sense of humor. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> A beautiful friendship, all right. <laughs> 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 